what did we say the last one was? 655 or 658? What's our airflow going to come out to on this one? Probably going to be very close to it. Yeah, it's at 658 CFM. But that was exactly what we were using when we did the test the other day. Hi, Mitch Bailey here. Uh, I want to show you guys how to use the true flow grid, and I also want to show you flow hood, uh, uh, flow hood and the, how close all those are compared to using total external static pressure in your manometers and the blower charts for a system. So let's get started real quick. Very easily, we're going to have to like our true flow grid. So we're going to turn it on, turn on the app. We already have our manometer going, and we have our, our flow grid going itself. So first, I'm going to turn on what I want to do. I want to do a test for system and airflow. It sees these tools, but they're not liked yet, so I, I add each of the tools, the DG8300, uh, and then I'm going to like the uh, flow grid itself. Once those are in there, I can move forward. Now I can do, this is a gas furnace. It's an upflow, and we got cooling capacity is 1.5 tons. Done. Okay. And L filter location, this one's a filter grill down low. So I put filter grill, and then we just hit next. Now we just need to turn the system on, so we're going to get it up and running. Um, and then I'm going to hit continue. We're going to wait. It's going to take a second for it to boot up. Furnace is coming on now. Um, once the blower gets going, it just takes a few seconds. Now these true flow grids, the cool part about them is these come in different sizes. We have all different sizes of, of uh, grids. So this is like a 24 by 24. This is a 20 by 20. You, these sna this snaps out and it snaps in the same space, so you can have different sizes. Uh, if you buy the kit, you can buy more of these, or it comes with more of these that you can make your own sizes up if you, ha if you have common sizes you use all the time. But um, it's really nice, it's really easy. The way it snaps out is you just take these little red tabs and you just, just undo them. It comes out and it snaps into the, into the next spot, so you just set it in and then snap it in its place. And once it's snapped in, it, it's good to go. That's how fast it is to change it over. So let's move this out of the way so we're not blocking airflow. And we'll put this right here, wait for it to come on, and then we'll take our first measurement. Once the blower comes on, you should see the static pressure jump up. So that'll be perfectly normal uh, when you see the static pressure jump up. Uh, it, we're doing on the return side. We're at zero. I'm going to go ahead and insert it. It tells you to insert it down low in the return. So it's right there. Boom. It's in place, ready to go. Um, we should start blowers just coming on now. You see it ramping up. 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. OK, so now it's bouncing around a little bit. That's OK. Just hit take measurement because it's going to average it. So it, that's perfectly normal. It's going to average it. Uh, once it's averaged that air, now I don't want to block returns, so I don't want to stand too close to it, so we're getting full air. Now it tells me I need to move it up to the, uh, move my probe up to just before the coil. So I'll take it out, put it in just before the coil, and we're good to go there. Once I got it in place, I'm going to hit take measurement. Now it's, it's measuring that, that portion of it. It only takes a second. That's done. Boom. Okay, now tells me to put it in uh, the supply side on the other side of the coil, and I have a, a hole drilled already up there, so I just got to take it, put it up in the top right there, and we're good to go. Hit take my measurement. This only takes a second. And then you're just going to hit continue. So I hit continue. And it tells me to take the, the filter out. So I'm going to take the filter out and just leave the door open. Put your grid in. Grid has a nice gasket on it, so it, it goes in very nicely. So if you put it in, it should set right in there. And it suck right up in there. And you should be able to read the way the airflow air flows this way. You should be able to read that part. Once you're ready, you take your measurement. What did we say the last one was? 655 or 658? What's our airflow going to come out to on this one? 
probably going to be very close to it. Yeah, it's at 658 CFM. But that was exactly what we were using when we did the test the other day uh, to get the airflow on it. So that's done. So work test is complete. The nice part about this is now that I can hit continue, uh, you hit OK, you can save it. You can then do a PDF of it. it tells you all your, everything that's do, happening on the system. See, our airflow is actually a little high, but our total extended static pressure is perfect. So uh, it's actually very good. We're back pretty close to the low. So, and you can then make a PDF of it. You can go in and, and uh, make a report. So you, you can uh, go in and hit a report, continue, and, it'll, and you can make a report. You put the customer information in, you put their name, et cetera. You put the uh, location and it'll look it up. Whoops, went uh, too far. It'll look up, uh, it'll look it up. So it's, that's pretty cool. So that, that's awesome on that part. So let's do, what are we gonna get with our, we have our flow hood here. We're gonna use our flow hood. We're gonna put the filter back because we're gonna measure it as is. So with the filter in place, make sure I get the filter back in. And she doesn't wanna sit, there we go. It wants to suck in. There it goes. Perfect. Boom. So we're going to measure it with the filter in place. And I'll take a picture of it with my phone. We'll get as close as we can. Put my foot on it. Support it that way. Take my phone. Snap a picture of it. Perfect. Perfect. Wow. Okay. That was awesome. All right. So what did we come up with? Our, our uh, CFM was 655. 655. So I can turn around so you can see it. 655. That's, that's perfect. We, we're doing, you can't get any closer than that. And that's between flow grid manometers and your uh, flow hood all within three CFM. You can't beat that with a stick. So like I said, this is, this, this is the easiest, quickest way to do it. Uh, static pressures, you can do that in the field with your manometer. You don't need a flow grid. You don't need the flow hood. Both are very accurate. So next time you're out in the field, take these measurements, get your static pressure, get your airflow through the system, measure the di uh, difference in temperature, temp TD, and your temperature rise, and then multiply out and get your BTUs. CFM times 1.08 times delta T will give you your, your BTUs per hour that the furnace is producing. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks again.